what's in my tank? So today we're going to talk about, uh, you might see some little white bugs on top of your water jumping around or crawling on the lid of your tank and uh, wonder what is that? Is that dangerous? Um, can the fish eat this? So we're going to cover all this in this video. So those little bugs, they can be white most of the time in the fish tank or on the lid, you're going to see them as white. But depending on the background and, uh, and some other color around the area, they might look brown or black. Uh, but most of the time, they're white. So those are little bugs that will skip on top of the water. You know, those little, uh, little white spot here jumping all over the water here. So this is a little bug called springtail. Now contrary to fleas, they don't bite. You don't have to worry about this. They're only called uh, snow flea because they jump like fleas. So they can jump up, up to 10 times their height. Um, so you know, they skip like a couple, sometimes they skip a couple inch at the time and stuff just jumping on top of the water and uh, they don't sink, they just float on top and they're able to, <laughs> to jump. Um, yeah, those little bugs there, they're not dangerous for your fish, your fish can eat them. Um, what they do, it's they only eat, uh, they eat algae, they'll eat molds as well. Um, anything that will grow on the edge of your tank if you don't do proper maintenance. If you leave unheated food up there, or you know like in the little groove beside your lid or something like that uh, they'll feed on that and uh, also you know you need to wipe there once in a while because they will grow some mold there because there's always a little bit of moisture in between your lid and then uh, the, f the plastic frame of your aquarium right so you don't have to worry about those bugs going all over your house or crawling everywhere unless you're living somewhere where the roof is dripping or there's a pipe leaking down or something like that because they need to have moisture in order to survive and to thrive and uh, so you know going into your house is the last thing that they want to do because they're leaving the comfort of the water where it uh, provide everything that they need food shelter like everything and it keeps them moist so here's the little trick about that like because you know they're you, you don't really want to see them like they're they're nasty to see and stuff and you don't want bugs like if there's too many they'll start crawling on your tank and stuff and you know who wants to see that right like you don't want that as a show tank anyway so because of that, uh, one of the tricks to get rid of them is actually to use a hair dryer. And then you don't want to eat up the plastic of your tank. So, you know, pop the lid, clean everything up, like with rag or paper towel or something like that, like all the algae growing up there. They're very sensitive to heat and temperature change. So, the only thing you do is grab a hair dryer, put it on the highest setting for the temperature and then just blow the surface of the water in your tank. So just doing this for a little while, now that I didn't do it long enough, you just do it for a little while that's gonna kill them and then your fish will feed on them. It won't be an issue. Uh, another trick, if it's really bad and you're having trouble to do that, uh, you can put uh, hydrogen peroxide into a spray bottle and then you're going to spray that on top of your tank. You can spray your lid with this too. Uh, the hydrogen peroxide is fine for your fish because it becomes inert if it touches the water because hydrogen is part of the water a bounding chemical uh, with the oxygen and stuff so you don't have to worry it becomes water after it you know retouch water and not exposed to oxygen and all that stuff so now I wouldn't pour a bottle in there but just spraying the top of the water and stuff 
because the bugs don't go inside the water then it will burn them so you know you're going to get rid of them that way uh, you're going to kill most of those bugs and your fish are going to be fine so that's a little trick there to get rid of them and then whatever you don't uh, kill or whatever is left in there your fish can actually feed them uh, the only time that it would be dangerous it's uh, if your tank is full of molds and those bugs are eating mold then uh, you know their stomachs full of mold so your fish is eating all those bugs and then they'll end up like eating too much mold and it can make them sick or have issues but uh, you know if you're doing a regular maintenance on your tank and it's not like growing like nasty food crumbs at the top there rotting and it's not uh, it's not uh, growing molds then those bugs are just going to feed on a little bit of algae and biofilm that are that is on your tank so they'll be full of nutrient for your fish so now if you have multiple tank or uh, you know a fish room or something like that and you're doing maintenance from one tank to another and you have those uh, snow fleas or springtail in your tank uh, you know doing the tank maintenance and sticking your arm into the water or going from net from one tank with the net or the vacuum to another tank then you might carry some over so you know they're not going to want to leave your tank but they might be stuck on the net or stuck on your your skin for a minute until you put it in close to another source of water so they'll jump on there because you know they don't want to stay on you and and they, they're not interested in the net either so you can spread it like that uh, you know where does it come from well those things are natural uh, sometimes you'll see them too if you have a uh, potted plant around your house uh, because they like it when the soil is nice and moist all the time so you might be bringing some inside your house from from uh, you know dirt with plants and stuff uh, they might come from like you know the fish store or wherever you bought your fish from if they have an issue with them uh, but uh, you know they're super small they're small like a grain of salt right or even smaller than that so the chance that like you're going to catch everything and you know wherever you get your plants or your fish or whatever you're gonna catch everything is pretty small right it's easy to spread this around so you know everybody deal with those bugs once in a while and then uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about it <laughs> making this video a little bit long there but uh, yeah now you have all the information about the springtail I uh, look it up if you want to have more information but I think I pretty much cover everything that there is to know there so uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video cheers subscribe